Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Alexis Rebecca. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. Stay a while. And if you are a returning subscriber, as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in, supporting. I love y'all so much. So this video is not going to be a vlog. It's actually going to be like a compilation of things that make me feel my best. I'm going to focus each day of this week on an aspect that I need to really take seriously in my life to be the best version of myself, if that makes sense. So for example, day one, we are getting back into our exercise routine. I have been thrown off these last two weeks. I haven't been to the gym, I had a lot going on. I was getting ready and preparing for the girls weekend. I got my new dog. So everything just got like thrown off schedule, but it's time to reel it back in. It's all about discipline. I was telling y'all about that in a vlog a few vlogs ago about how I'm gonna hold myself accountable. So we're getting back into the exercise, healthy eating, and we're really gonna hone in on that today. So I'm taking y'all with me. Each day is gonna be something new. But yeah, last weekend there was a lot of partying, drinking, girls weekend. Cheers. okay to have a good time but in the past I would have a good time and then I would go a week two weeks three weeks a month a month and a half and now like we completely are off our exercise routine we are completely eating whatever we want we're drinking whatever we want so it's good to have balance if like you can have good fun weekends like that drink whatever you want eat whatever you want but then get back into your schedule so that's what I'm practicing okay I can sit here and talk to y'all forever but I gotta get my ass back in the gym so let's go so my first day back in the gym after two weeks so i'm gonna try to like ease my way back into it and i guess i'll just take you guys through my workout that i chose to do this day they're usually always different but i start off with cardio 12 incline three speed i absolutely love this cardio workout i'm so glad tiktok introduced me to it because it is that girl it'll give you such a good sweat to start your workout so walking isn't enough for me so after like 15 minutes on incline i go back down to a one incline and i do some sprints so I'll sprint at like eight or nine miles per hour for 30 seconds and then I'll stop and walk for 30 seconds and then I'll repeat that five times. So I'll sprint, walk, sprint, walk. This really gets your resting heart rate up. It really gets you sweating and your blood pumping. So I love doing this cardio. After I run, I go back up on an incline for another maybe 10 minutes. Um, and then I go back down and do five more sprints. So I do 10 sprints in total and maybe like 25 minutes on an incline it's so good so then i did legs today all these exercises you see me doing i keep it really simple i just do three sets of either 10 or 12 it just depends it's like a bittersweet feeling getting back in the gym after you've been out for weeks because it's like damn i'm way out of shape but then it's like okay i'm feeling good because i'm back in the swing of things my mental is better after the gym all the time so it's just bittersweet but you guys know I've been on my health journey and it's been a journey, girl. <laughs> it has been a journey. Like I was supposed to be down 15 pounds by now, okay? And we only down like six or seven. But we're going to keep pushing through the summer and whatever we need to do. Um, but it's definitely something I love. I know the gym is not for everybody. And if it's not for you, just find something that you enjoy doing, whether it be biking, yoga, the girls love Pilates now. Um, there's so many other things that you can do other than the gym just to get your body moving. But yeah, that was my gym for the day. Okay, so I'm back from the gym. The first day back in the gym after like a little break is always a struggle. You know, but you always feel really good after you're done and just so happy to be back. Well, that's how I feel at least. And then some of you guys ask like, 
where I get my workouts from, blah, blah, blah. I just get all my workouts from TikTok. Honestly, I have a whole album in my phone dedicated to workouts that I wanna try, whether it be legs, arms, back day, ab day. I have a whole album dedicated to workouts. So when I go in the gym, I know exactly what I'm gonna do, what I wanna focus on for that day. Because if you go in the gym blind, nine times out of 10, you're gonna get confused and you just gonna wanna leave. So if you go in already knowing what you wanna do, what you wanna focus on, you can get your workout in, get in, get out, and then get on with the rest of your day. So since we're focusing on health and wellness today, getting back in the swing of things, I'm gonna be making my <laughs> shake. One thing about me, and once I find a recipe that I really, really like, I am going to make it until I gag at the sight of it. Like I will make it every single day until I literally cannot anymore. So, so that's how I'm feeling with my chocolate shake. If you have watched my vlogs, then you know what I'm talking about. It has cocoa powder, peanut butter, dates, almond milk, avocado, banana, and it's set like, if I don't feel like cooking, it's just the easiest thing because it keeps you so full. It's really a meal replacement. I use it for like lunch. Like I'll skip breakfast, eat this for lunch, but it keeps you so full. And I don't think it's that caloric. I think it's like, I did the math. I think it's about 600 calories, which is a meal replacement. Like, but if you want to eat this and a meal, um, you would be like on track to gain weight, which is fine. Some people actually have goals to gain weight, which I'm jealous of y'all. Like, y'all be like, oh, I want to gain weight. You're so lucky. Like, you just have to eat mad food. That would be so easy for me. <laughs> but yeah, this shake has been holding me down. And aside from the gym, Teddy has helped me get my steps in for sure. I think between me and Vontae, we take him out like six times a day just, you know, to help with potty training, to get his exercise, to have some fun. But um, yeah, I can definitely say a dog will keep you active. I don't even feel bad if I miss the gym, if I know I've taken him out and we've walked like two miles together. So I love that. He's been a great help to get active. So today is self-care day. We're dedicating our entire day to self-care and getting into things that make me feel fabulous and great and just taking care of myself. So we're actually outside of the new nail salon that I found. I'm getting a pedicure because my toes is looking real ranky dang, real nasty, real crusty. It's one of the nail salons that offer like all different types of pedicures. Like they have, I think I booked like a lemon lime refresher pedicure. They're gonna put like all types of fruit in the water. And then there's like a jelly pedicure and there's like a strawberries and cream pedicure. I don't know, I just wanna try them out. It looks interesting. Yes, we will always say yes to a glass of champagne during a service. This place was such a vibe. It's called Soak and Polish Nail Bar in Midtown. And when I tell you this is one of the best pedicures I've gotten in a while, it was so good. This was like a cooling gel she put on my legs. It was so relaxing. It's like, I think I got like a cucumber mint pedicure. I don't know what it was. Like I said, there's a ton of options for different pedicures, but it was just so relaxing. Usually, I actually don't like getting my nails done and toes done. That's not fun for me because it's not relaxing. It's not really a, like a good experience. But this was actually a really relaxing, lovely experience. I had a great nail tech by the name of Whitney. If you go there, check her out because she did my toes to a T, massaged my legs. Everything was just perfect. Um, you know we love the warm towel. Then after we got our toes done and everything, we headed over to our laser hair removal appointment. I'm on my fourth session at Sev Laser over in Buckhead. And when I tell you, it is one of the best decisions I've made. I get my bikini line and my underarms. 
and I think I'm gonna switch to my full bikini area and maybe my legs because I've seen like my hair thin out over the course of a few months and I can only imagine never having to shave like never having to worry about it so laser is definitely a form of self-care and I absolutely recommend and then we can finally get home and do some skincare to wind down the night it was just such a blessing to be able to take a day and dedicate it strictly to me and my self-care everyone should get into it men women if you're feeling overwhelmed if you're feeling sad if you're just not feeling yourself take a day to just pamper yourself nails read a book um massage just pamper yourself and take care of your mental i absolutely love that i'm able to do that and i definitely recommend everyone do the same at least once a month at least So we're here for day three. And day three, so we did day one fitness, day two self-care. Day three is doing something that you genuinely enjoy doing, like a hobby a little bit. I don't know if I guess this is a hobby, but I love making things that I find on the internet. Whether it be a drink recipe that looks good, whether it be a dessert recipe that looks good, we're doing a dessert today, a new pasta, a new chicken, anything. If I find something that looks bomb, I wanna try it. Teddy, please! In the background. I'm trying to film, babes. But that's what we're doing today. I found a recipe for Oreo bite, like bite-sized Oreo cheesecakes that sound really good. And it's one of my favorite food bloggers. I use a lot of her recipes, so I know like it usually comes out really good. If it's good, we're gonna make it together. I will link it below for you guys. If it's not, that's my rule. If something's not good, I'm not linking it. But if it is, then I will. So let's get into it. Y'all know I love putting a little something, something together. So this is super simple. Um, the recipe calls for cornstarch, whipping cream, sour cream, eggs. We've got Oreos, cream cheese, and vanilla extract. To me, that's a pretty simple recipe. It also calls for sugar. So we've got everything we need. Let's go ahead and get into it. Yeah, so as I was saying, one thing about me, I get extremely influenced from TikTok and Instagram when it comes to recipes, drink recipes, food recipes. I'm a foodie, so if it looks good, and I think I can tackle it and make it happen. I'm gonna try to bring the creation to life. And then you guys watch me. Sometimes the stuff be coming out nasty. Sometimes I be disappointed and just sad overall. And sometimes it actually comes out really good. So at this point, I never get my hopes up too high because some of these recipes out here on the internet, okay, they're here to fool you. But I'm here to test it out and let y'all know if it's any good in my opinion and then we could just go from there and have some fun.
Okay, so we had to wait two hours to let them chill in the fridge. And now it's time to taste one. So I can give you guys. Is he choking? My dog is like coughing. False alarm, he's just coughing in the bed. Mmm. They're good. <laughs> and they're especially delicious if you like Oreos. It's like an Oreo cheesecake. Very good. I will be linking this recipe below. And day four is the unfun day, okay? This is the part of being a content creator that no one really likes, okay? We're editing and we're prepping content today and we're also filming content. Um, a lot of people don't understand how much hours and hours and hours goes behind the publishing of a video. Um, it's a lot of work that goes into editing. So the way I stay on top of my editing is to just edit a little bit at a time, especially when I'm editing like a long 30, 40, 50 minute vlog. It's easiest to just edit the footage as you go. And so you don't have to sit at the computer for five, six, seven hours all in one day. Um, so that's really helped me with content creation and editing. And I also wanted to spend some time this day to plan out the rest of the content that I have and I wanna post for this month. I feel like if I really start sticking to the content that I wanna post and really writing it down, like down to the day and what exactly I wanna post, then I will be more consistent. I will be more happy. You guys will be more happy because um, you guys will know what to expect. So I definitely want to start doing this moving forward. I got a planner off of Etsy for my iPad and it's so good and detailed. You can write all the notes. It has calendars. It has workout routines and stuff that you can put in there. So I'm actually going to link that below for you guys and it'll help you keep organized. I feel like that is a must being a content creator, something that I have not been strong in, but I am we're working, you know, each day. This is why we're spending this week really getting ourselves together um, so we can be the best version. So after I edited and planned out some content, I was actually able to shoot some. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more short form content this month and next month because I really wanna grow on TikTok. And I also need to start posting reels because I be ghost on Instagram, y'all. So I'm just gonna start repurposing the content I put on TikTok for reels. So be on the lookout for that. But yeah, I was glad I was able to put together a little cute skincare video and follow me on TikTok because this will be posted on there. One thing I admire about my relationship is that we're going to date, okay? We're gonna go on day night at least once a week. I love two, three, four times, okay? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I feel like when you get into these relationships where you've been together two, three years, you know, it can get like the same routine. It can get kind of boring. I feel like date night is the perfect time to spice it up, try a new place, try new restaurants, try new experiences, experiences with each other, make new memories. It's just, I feel like it's so important to do in a relationship, especially if you've been together long. A lot of people give up on dating after you know they've had the person for two, three years. No, that's you're still supposed to be dating throughout the whole relationship. I don't care if you've been together 20 years. Make time for each other, date each other. It's so fun to get dolled up, get dressed up, do your makeup you know, for a woman, and to just feel her best and then go out with the man she really loves and just have a great time together. Uh, it's the highlight of my week. I actually love a good date night, so. If your man isn't still dating you and y'all getting bored, listen, tell him, babe, we, uh, we're gonna dress up, we're gonna do this once a week. If you can't do it once a week, at least twice a month, try to get out and just date each other and have a good time with each other. Uh, you won't regret it. So my makeup ended up coming out pretty today. And I pulled out this cute shirt from Zara. It's a cute top from Zara. I just have some black jeans on, black heels. Earrings are from Zara as well. 
And we waiting on him, but I guess we can go ahead and pour the shots because y'all know how date night goes. Y'all know how date night goes. Y'all know how date night goes. We made it to the end of the week and I'm feeling so much less overwhelmed with just getting back on track. That's why I wanted to take it just day by day, day by day, and the next week I can hop into my actual routine where I'm waking up, going to the gym, actually filming and creating the content that I scheduled, self-care, all that. We can get that all done in one day, but I didn't want to feel overwhelmed and be hard on myself if I didn't get something done. So I'm glad I took the time to spend this week to do that. And now next week I can get back into it and it'll be a vlog for next week as well. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you made it all the way to the end, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, leave a comment. I love you guys and I'll catch you on my next video.